Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears the prayers and who answers them all in His imperfect timing, because His timing is perfect, and His timing will always be perfect. Amen? Amen. And also, will we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and active living Word of God, which brings the free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins. And if you do all that, it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive in this lifetime, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever in His presence when you die. Amen. Amen. Praise God for His Word. Praise God for who He is. Today we got an amazing topic when we're we'll talking about sin. How many of you love talking about sin? We are all sinful people, right? The Bible says it. All right. Um, all right. So today, sin. Yay, good topic, right? Okay. Um, we're going to be in First John 1, verse 9. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to go grab them, flip to that passage, turn on, that, turn on and flip to, the, flip to there as well. And if you're flipping to that passage and turning on the, whatever, turning on the Bible, flipping there, I'll open this up in a brief word of prayer. So let's bow our heads and let's come before God today. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love that never fails. Lord, would you speak to us now by your word? Transform our hearts, God. Let us become more like you and less like ourselves. God, we love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. Amen. First John 1 verse 9 says this. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Praise God for this. Praise God. Let's reread this one more time, brothers and sisters, as we always do. And as we reread this a second time, let's meditate on this passage and ask God that he would speak to us about what this means to us. You guys ready? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, what does this mean and how does this set out? It says if we confess our sins. We need to confess our sins. What happens if we do that? He is faithful. God is faithful. He will always be faithful. He is faithful what? He is faithful and righteous. God is righteous. To forgive us our sins. He will forgive our sins if we confess our sins because he is faithful and righteous. So he will forgive our sins and to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He'll cleanse us as well. He'll forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Unrighteousness is bad. Unrighteousness is sin. Not pleasing to God. So what is the encouragement? What's the takeaway as we land the plane? The takeaway and the encouragement is this. I encourage you to confess your sins. Admit that you sin and confess it to God and ask for his forgiveness. And God will forgive you. God will. It says it right here. If we confess our sins, he is faithful. So that's the encouragement. Whenever you sin next time, confess your sins to God. God is not going to chase you around, beat you in the head to make, make you confess. He, he's not like that type of God. He gives you free will. If you want to confess, confess. If you don't want to confess, don't confess. But, he, but right here, it encourages you to confess. Because he is faithful and righteous to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen? Amen. Well, if you never came to God before, or you would like to come back to God right now, known as a prodigal son, then here is the opportunity to, right now, by saying the simple prayer of faith from the sounds of your own heart. Repeat these words after me, please. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you. You're the only hope I have, Lord. I repent of all my sins and accept you. And I accept I repent of all my sins and I accept you as my savior. Amen. If you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, or we pray this prayer in honor of the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you in the family of God, or welcome you back into the family of God. The scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or when one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've also been praying for this very moment because this is truly one of the most important decisions that we can ever truly make with our life is by placing Jesus Christ placing Jesus Christ uh, no, repenting of our sins and turning to him and accepting the free gift of salvation and, and placing him first and foremost in our life because he he gave his life up for us and he wants us to to choose him and accept him as our, as our savior and repent and be saved and believe so I want to welcome you in the family of God 
If you just made a decision today for the first time, with us at We Committed Life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this very important decision that you made today. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to press you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this very important decision that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you because we truly believe that's the first and foremost thing that we can ever do with our life is pray because prayer is our breath. Prayer is life. So we, we want to be praying for you and to continue along this journey, this decision that you made today. But brothers and sisters, can I bless you all today? Before I send you all on your way, will you put your hands up to receive it? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that if you confess your sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen and amen. God is good, brothers and sisters. God is good. Praise him for who he is and what he has done. He's worthy. Well, brothers and sisters, um, if you guys were encouraged by this video and you guys feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this topic as well, would you please do me a favor? Click on that share button and share this video. Share this hope with someone. If you just need prayer for your life or hope, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. We'd love to pray for you. We'd love to just talk to you, answer any questions you have. And until next time, keep Christ number one and have a very, very blessed day. Peace. God bless you all.